This is a jar. I can paint over it, or even fill it with paint. But what I can't do is fill it with pie. But I can do this with another shape, an infinitely long one called Gabriel's horn. Here's why. Gabriel's horn is a special shape formed by revolving the function y equals 1 over x about the x-axis. To determine whether we can fit a pi in it or not, we need to find its volume. And we're going to use some integral calculus to do so. Normally, when we take integrals to find the area under a curve, we cut up that area into infinitesimally thin rectangles, so thin that they're practically one-dimensional, each with width dx and add them together. In this case, however, instead of adding an infinite number of 1D rectangles to get a 2D area, we're going to add an infinite number of 2D cross-sections to get a 3D volume. The cross-section of Gabriel's horn is a circle with radius y which equals 1 over x. The area of a circle is pi r squared, so the area of any cross-section of the horn must be pi over x squared. Now we just integrate this expression with respect to x using the limits 1 and infinity, and we find that the answer is pi, which means that the volume of Gabriel's horn, an infinitely long shape, is pi. Cool, right? We got pi from the function 1 over x. Two seemingly unrelated mathematical expressions. Oh, and side note, if you do the math to find the outer surface area of Gabriel's horn, you can actually find that the surface area is infinite, meaning you can never completely paint over it, which is known as the painter's paradox. But in my opinion, I still think it's cooler that I can completely fill this horn with pie.